Well, I have to keep my thumb on the antenna. I've done nothing to this radio, and this thing was covered in mouse piss and mouse shit on the top of it. All kinds of, you know, like little tiny mouse nest. I just blew it out a little bit, checked the bottom, made sure no caps were blown. Everything was looking good. Brought it up on the Variac. Ooh, that's a hot tube. And uh, there's a case for it. But, uh, oh my gosh, this thing's working. It's unbelievable. And here's AM. Take my thumb off. Can't hear it. Thumb on. It's actually got good volume. And this thing, it doesn't have much of a hum in it. You know, I honestly, I'm stunned. And it plays with good volume when your thumb's on it. Man, am I happy. <laughs> right now, I don't know if I'm going to recap it. I just might leave it as it is because everything's working normally. And it's got a really weak 12 SQ7. And my good Lord, I've never had more problems with a tube than SQ7s. They, uh, they just don't seem like they're a very good tube. And a lot of people complain about it works on the radio, but if you test it, it tests bad. And that's what this one did. It tested bad on all three sections. But here it is working. But maybe that's why I have to have my thumb on the uh, antenna because it's not working that well. But uh, good volume. Not much of the way in hum. You know, I've had radios that I've redone that have had more hum than this one does right now. So... Like I said, I'm happy.